Hi, in this video I am going to demonstrate Helm library charts. Note that this is not an introduction to Helm video. It assumes that you are already familiar with Helm charts and how to use it to deploy your applications to Kubernetes cluster. In this video I will show how to use reusable Helm library charts to be used across all of your applications. Now let's dive into the demo. So here I have in the IntelliJ, I have the workspace open and I have two projects here, my lib chart and my app chart. So my lib chart is the project which has the Helm library chart and my app chart is the actual application which would use the library chart to render the Helm templates for the application. The source code for this is committed to GitHub and the link for that is included in the description of this video. Now let's take a look at the mylib chart project. If you open the chart.yml, the first three lines defines the standard API version name and description of the chart. If you take a look at the type attribute, it defines it as a library. Now a chart can either be an application or a library. Here in this case we have defined it as a library. The version attribute defines the chart version. If we take a look at the templates directory, you will see there are three template files ending with the extension .tpl. Each of these files start with underscore, which means that these will not be rendered as Kubernetes manifest files. It, it only defines templates which can be reused in the application, which we'll see in a moment later. Let's take a look first at the helpers template. It defines a bunch of templates as shown here. Let's take a look at the first one. It defines a template using the define action and the name is mylibchart.name. So what goes between the define and the end action is the body of the template, which in this case returns the name override defined in the values.yaml file or by default it returns the chart name and it does bunch of truncate and trim suffix after that. If you scroll down, let's take a look at another templates. So this defines a template called mylibchart.labels. As you may know, the Kubernetes manifest files has labels to be defined within it. So this template is used to define exactly the labels. So what this includes is the label helm.sh slash chart, which includes the chart name. Next, we see it, it's using include function to include another template which is defined elsewhere in the same template file named mylibchart.selectorlabels. Now, where is this selector labels defined? If you scroll down here, this is the definition of that template. So, it defines two labels app.kubernetes.io slash name and slash instance. The name is simply the mylibchart.name which was defined above and for instance it uses the helm chart release name. Now what this include function does is it will use these two labels that is defined as part of selector labels template and use that within the mylibchart.labels template. Next, there's a if condition. If there's chart dot application, the app version, it will include another label called as app Kubernetes IO slash version, and it also ad adds another managed by labels within the template. If we open the deployment template, you see here it defines a template called mylibchart dot deployment. The body of this template is the standard Kubernetes deployment resource object. If you see the metadata, the name, it uses the templates defined in the helper template which we saw a moment ago. Even inside the spec, it uses all the templates which were defined already in the helpers template. In this way, you can define the deployment template the way you want within your application. Similarly, for the service template, we have defined a template called mylibchart.service. 
the body of this is the standard Kubernetes service resource. Here also you can use the templates the way you want and reuse the helper templates file. So this is how you define all your templates. In this demo, although we showed deployment and service template, in reality you can have as many templates as your application needs. For example, you can have one template for ingress, one template for creating service account, one template for creating config maps, so on and so forth. Now let's package the library chart using the helm command. So the command to package is helm package my lip chart. And helm has created a package with the name my lip chart with version 100 which was defined in charts.yml. As you see the my lip chart package with the version 100 appears in this directory. You can choose to upload this package to a artifactory such as jfrog but for this demo we'll just be using the file system. Now we saw how to create the package for the helm library chart but how do we use that within our application. So let's take a look at the my app chart. If you open the chart.yml for my app chart project it starts with the standard API version name and description for the chart. If you closely take a look at the type it says application. So for our library chart we had the type as library but for the application we define it as an application. The version attributes defines the chart version. The app version defines the application version that is being deployed. Now the important part is the dependencies. This lets you define the dependency for the library chart that we just created. The name attribute defines the name of the library chart which in, this, which in our case was my lib chart. The version for that chart was 100. The repository is where to locate the library chart. In this case we are using the file system so we define it like this. If you have uploaded the package to a artifactory such as jfrog you can provide the URL to the artifactory here in this case. So this was about defining the dependencies. Now how do we actually use the templates which the library chart defined here with these three TPL files within the application. So for that uh, within the my app chart templates directory let's open this app manifest.yml. The name of this manifest yml can be anything. Uh, the important thing is it should end with .yml file. If you see all it does is it includes the template that was defined in the library chart. That's all. So what it the, what this first line does is it includes the mylib chart dot deployment separate by a yaml separator and then it includes uh, the mylib chart dot service template. So this deployment template was defined in this deployment dot tpl file and the service template was defined in the service template uh, file. Now let's go ahead and actually see what manifest file gets rendered when we use uh, this application helm chart. Now the command to render the Kubernetes manifest files using helm is helm template command. So we are using the my app chart in this case and we pass the directory where the my app chart exists. So if you see it has rendered the manifest files. So first it rendered the service Kubernetes service object put all the labels based on the template we provided and the values.yml file and it also has the Kubernetes resource for the deployment object with, which has the name, the labels based on the template that we had defined and the values.yml file that we have within the application chart. Now you can install this using the helm install uh, command but I'm not going to demo the installation part but you get the point here how to you know render the templates and use the helm chart. So this is how you define helm library charts and use it within your application.
so in this demo although we had just one application imagine if you have hundreds of application you can reuse the helm library chart across all of the applications you don't have to keep re repeating the deployment uh, service and other templates within all the applications you just define it once and reuse it across all applications in case you have to modify any templates all you have to do is go to the my lip chart and modify the templates here change the version and then uh, modify the application to use the updated version of the library chart you don't have to keep repeating the template changes within all the applications so that's the benefit of using the helm library charts so that was about the helm library charts hope you liked the video please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from me thank you